I'm honored to be here tonight. Tonight, we remember those who were brutally murdered. We pray for our hostages. We honor our soldiers. And we stand up for the Jewish people. I'm an actress, and to me, it's always about the story, the narrative. What story are we telling? After the Holocaust, we were busy telling the world a story of strength, of survivorship. The most horrible thing in the world was done to the Jewish people in Europe. Six million Jews were brutally murdered simply for being Jewish. And those who survived did not play the victim role. They played the hero that saves the day role. They built a Jewish state. They built the state of Israel. From that moment on, we spent decades showing the world we are strong, we are fighters, we are united. We have the best military in the Middle East. We don't give up. We invent, we win Nobel Prizes. We're the first ones to send rescue teams to world disasters. We are kind, we are human. We are the Jewish people. Not only we survived, we thrived. We are just 0.2% of the world's population. Yet every single person on this planet seems to have an opinion about us. While we played the hero, our enemy played the victim. And the world believed it. We believed that if we gave our neighbors an equal opportunity to have a better life, if we helped them financially, supported their education, provided them with water and power, then maybe we could live side by side in peace. But the horrific crimes of October 7th proved us wrong. Our enemy, Hamas, controls our neighbors. Our enemy, Hamas, wants us gone, wiped out of Israel, wiped off this planet. So now the story is clear to us. Our children, our mothers, our fathers, and our grandparents were brutally murdered, kidnapped, tortured, and raped. Yes, they were raped. Don't ask us for proof. That's the real story. But let's make this clear. We will not let the Holocaust survivors who built our country end their lives worrying about the state of Israel. The Jewish people are united and strong now more than ever in Israel and outside of Israel. The Jewish people will fight back, defend our only country, and rise up again. We have no place else to go. And now I ask you to close your eyes. Take a deep breath. We all need it. And send a prayer to those who passed, to our soldiers, and to our hostages. Amen. Am Israel Chai. Thank you. Toda Rabah.